former teammate of Matthews. We have one. He's Hutch. Steve Hutchinson yeah. on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Hutch? I'm doing well. I'm doing, well. I'm doing really good today. How are you doing on this coronation day? <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. I, you know, the, the, the best part about it is now I can, I can stop being your beacon of light um, <laughs> for the past three weeks. And, and, you know, you're that ship that's bouncing around in the sea, getting ready to, to, to bail ship. And I'm the, I'm the light, you know, I'm keeping you there to. How many, to, how know, many times, Hutch? Now, now it's all done with. How many times, how many days in a row did I text you? What oh, you I, I don't know. I mean, well, if, yeah, I mean, it's, it's no. But you know what? It's, um, it's good. But, you know, the, the, the thing I'm happy about is, you know, when the salary came out, um, and it, it wasn't as high as, as uh, initially reported. Why do you feel that way? Well, because he, he, he could have had, he could have taken probably the Oakland job, probably could have had the Bears job. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the New York, um, the Jets situation is, but, but, you know, those are two jobs he probably could have had pretty easy, and, and now looking at, like I said, at the contract and the, and the way it's set up now, he probably could have had more money, and the fact that he chose his alma mater over that is um is is a good feeling meaning that you know it's something that he's wanted it's something he's coveted for a long time and and, and you know he's he, there's a really good chance he gets to play this contract out and hopefully keep going you know yeah i mean and i i take that too steve is that because you know when we heard about the richest contract and uh, an eight million et cetera, et cetera, per it it, it this takes the mercenary part of it off the table and then you see him holding his kid talking about how he would go into uh, his dad's office as a kid and be around what, you know, is now called Schembechler Hall and this beautiful palace of a building that will be his new office. And talking about now he can give that experience to his kids uh, in the same spot where he had it. That struck me. This is, th th I, I loved hearing that. I yeah. loved hearing that today. Yeah, there's definitely a sentimental um, part of, of this whole um you know, decision on his behalf, and and and, and really, you, you only get that if you if you went to Michigan. Or, you know, you understand the Michigan family, and, and especially if you played football there. Um, that it's 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 not just about money. It's it's not about status of of being at maybe the, the NFL or coaching a high profile team in the NFL. It's when when you grow up around the wing helmet, and uh, especially around Bo Schembechler, and, and who walked around that campus for for decades as as really a god there. And, and you know when you say to yourself when you're that age at nine years old, I'm, I'm going to do this someday, and you get the opportunity, then you, you know I, I don't I think it's hard to turn that down. Steve Hutchinson joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show, national champ. 97, future Hall of Fame uh, uh, Pro Bowl guard joining me here on the program. So how quickly do you think he turns this around? How, what do you think? Well, that's a million-dollar question. You know, I, I, the one thing I did take away from his press conference, the one thing that I liked was when he said he was going to, when the winter conditioning starts here in a couple days, um, he's going to evaluate the team and see what where they're at. And, and I think what, what he meant by that was, you know, mentally, I want to see what they think. You know, I, I think he wants to. His first goal is to turn that team around mentally and make them feel and believe that they they're going to win every game they step, step on the field. And yeah, there's a porous roster, and um, there were holes going into last year's season. And then with guys like Futches who decided to go to the NFL, and you lose guys like Jake Ryan, your your leaders, and and Gardner, your senior quarterback, who's leaving. You know, you, you know, it makes it more difficult. But I, I don't think he, he cares about that right now. I think it's a, it's, it's a system that he – what he does when he gets to a new place, whether it be in San Diego, Stanford, San Francisco, he, he instills a, a system and a train of thought that I think is paramount to X's and O's, and, and that's what he's looking forward to doing. Steve, uh, thanks for calling in. I wanted to chat with you here on this Coronation Day. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're the best. That's Steve Hutchinson. University of Michigan joining me here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On audience. And, and who walked around that campus for, for decades as, as really a god there. And, and, you know, when you say to yourself when you're that age at nine years old, I'm, I'm going to do this someday, and you get the opportunity, then, you, you know, I, I, don't, I think it's hard to turn that down. Steve Hutchinson joining me here on The Rich Eisen Show, national champion, 97, future... Hall of Fame uh, uh, Pro Bowl guard joining me here on the program. So how quickly do you think he turns this around? How, what do you think? Well, that's a million-dollar question. You know, I, I, the one thing I did take away from his press conference, the one thing that I liked was 
when he said he was going to, when the winter conditioning starts here in a couple days, um, he's going to evaluate. And talking about now he can give that experience to his kids uh, in the same spot where he had it. That struck me. This is, th th I, I loved hearing that. I yeah. loved hearing that today. Yeah, there's definitely a sentimental um, part of, of this whole um, you know, decision on his behalf, and 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 really, you only get that if you if you went to Michigan. You know, you understand the Michigan family, and, and especially if you played football there. Um, that it's 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 not just about money. It's it's not about status of of being at maybe the, the NFL or coaching a high profile team in the NFL. It's when when you grow up around the wing helmet and especially around Bo Schembechler is um, is is a good feeling. Meaning that you know it's something that he's wanted. It's something he's coveted for a long time, and and, and you know. He's, he, there's a really good chance he gets to play this contract out and hopefully keep going, you know? Yeah, I mean, and I, I take that too, Steve, is that because, you know, when we heard about the richest contract and uh, an $8 million, et cetera, et cetera, per, it, 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 this takes the mercenary part of it off the table, and then you see him holding his kid, talking about how he would go into... Uh, his dad's office as a kid and be around what, you know, is now called Schembechler Hall and this beautiful palace of a building that will be his new office. Next you, what oh, I, I don't know. I mean, well, if, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, no, but you know what? It's, um, it's good. But, you know, the, the, the thing I'm happy about is, you know, when the salary came out um, and it, it wasn't as high as, as uh, initially reported. Why do you feel that way? Well, because he, he, he could have had, he could have taken probably the Oakland job, probably could have had the Bears job. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the New York, um, the Jets situation is, but, but you know, those are two jobs he probably could have had pretty easy. And, and now looking at, like I said, at the contract and the, and the way it's set up now, he probably could have had more money. And the fact that he chose his alma mater over that. It Former teammate of Matthews. We have one. He's Hutch. Steve Hutchinson yeah. on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Hutch? I'm doing well. I'm doing. Well. I'm doing really good today. How are you doing on this Coronation Day? <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. I, well, the, the the best part about it is now I can I can stop being your beacon of light um, <laughs> for the past three weeks, and, and you know you're that ship that's bouncing around in the sea, getting ready to to, to bail ship, and I'm the, I'm the light, you know, I'm keeping you there to. How many to, how many know, times, Hutch? Now, now it's all done with. How many times? How many days in a row did I tell?